Hello beauties and cuties and welcome back to our channel. Today I will be talking about shit black people thought about Asians. My reference to Asia is China so it's going to be a China edition. I think there are a lot of videos talking about what Chinese people think about black people and about what Asian people think about black people. <clears throat> but have you ever wondered what a black person thinks about a Chinese person or what a black person thinks about an Asian person. There are some videos too that talk about what it's like to be a black person who lives in an Asian country. But what about all black people who don't live in Asian countries? What do you feel or think is their perception about China or Chinese people? So yeah, here's my video. Stay with me until the end. <laughs> so, a little bit of background story. I went to China in 2019 and if I would have known that the pandemic is going to hit us a little bit later, honestly, I wouldn't have left China. But... Sometimes it's good that we cannot see into the future because there's so many things I learned from not being in China for so long. I learned so many things, guys, and I think we don't really talk enough about how it feels when you can't return to China. I have friends who can't return to Japan. I have, I mean, I know people who can't return back to America, but what does it feel like? What does it, does it do to your mental health? What does it, does it do to your emotion? I think there are a lot of things that we just don't discuss enough about it. Why staying away from China? Such a long time. I've learned so many things that make me grow wisdom. And if you like, subscribe to my channel subscribe to our channel so you will don't miss out when I drop out this video about my experience staying away from China for so long. I will tell you in that video what I have learned and what I felt like. <laughs> so back to black people and shit they thought about Asians slash Chinese people. So yeah, 2019, this little girl went to China and yeah, I didn't tell, I didn't tell anyone that I'm going to China actually. I didn't keep it a secret, but I just didn't tell anyone. Even when I was on the travel and when I came back, I didn't post directly. I think I started posting like some months after I came back to, <laughs> to, to where I stay now. <laughs> And people did not really realize that I was in China. One day, <laughs> I saw an old friend. Um, he's black. And he asked me how I've been so far and how was my life and so on. Yeah, um, I told him that the pictures I posted recently um, were pictures of me being in China. And he was so shocked, like, he was just shocked. Because he was seeing me standing, you know, talking to him. I'm doing completely fine, you know, I'm fine. So he just couldn't believe that I was in China as a black person and coming back healthy. So I asked him, what? <laughs> So why can't you believe that I was in China and I'm doing well, I'm standing in front of you, so why can't you believe it? And he said, he said to me, he, as a black person, would be so afraid to travel to China because Chinese people don't like black people. They would probably do something bad to him, like they would probably kill him or make him disappear or something like this you know so yeah i'm not here to bash anyone but this guy is 
a fan of the U.S. He would love staying in the U.S. one day. And, you know, I don't think I really told him my opinion this day. I just told him that, yeah, my stay was very safe and, you know, people were nice. But I just realized what he was saying is kind of, you know, I don't know how to say. I just you know, realized my real opinion and what I really think about what he just said to me later on. Um, me as a black person, honestly, I would be more afraid about staying in the US than in China. Yeah. Honestly, that's, that's my opinion. Because we hear so many you know <sighs> there are so many stories about black people in the us who got shot because they just wanted to take off to take their phone out of their pocket you know and someone thought they're going to take off to take out a gun so they got shot for just taking out their phone out of the pocket and how many little young kids and you know nearly babies you know two years old and four years old you know got shut down black babies you know shut down in the u.s because the police was thinking that they're playing with guns while they were just playing with these water you know gun toys hey <laughs> i'm a person who, you know, sometimes, like, um, funny and shitty things happen to me. And you will just ask yourself how this kind of things can, you know, happen to me, actually. And um, I really wonder, what I, what if I go to the U.S. And I, I just get a phone call and I, I don't reflect about the situation. Hey, you're black, you're in the U.S., you know, you're at the gasoline station, someone is calling you, you should not pick up the phone, you know, but what if I just do it? I just pick up my phone because someone calls me and I get shot. What if my kid plays outside and, you know, <laughs> is licking a lollipop, you know, and the police just thinks this kid is carrying a gun and then shuts, shuts my kid down, you know. These are kind of things that will not easily happen in China. No policeman is going to shut you down in China because you are black and they think you're, you are carrying a gun. This is something that will not happen in China. <laughs> and so yeah, this guy actually who told me he would be super afraid as a black person to, you know, go to China, to come to China. <clears throat> he doesn't actually know that being black is much more dangerous in the U.S. than in China. And yeah, another situation I went through, this is the second situation that I'm going to tell you. One day I was staying at the bus station and, you know, I saw a friend coming up to me i call everyone friend actually they're not all friends <laughs> i saw a black person okay i saw a black person coming up to me and um yeah we start talking and this black person asked me how is it possible like how can you be friends with asian people they're so different from us. Like, how do you do it? <sighs> I told this person, I think, I cannot really remember what I told her, but my, my thoughts about it, what I think about it right now, is that... She thinks that they are so different from us. 
I think I told her that my friends are super cool, like my Chinese friends are super cool or something like this. But anyhow, after, she just assumed that Asian people are so different from us and how can I just hang out with them? I, you know, don't really want it to, you know, talk to her anymore. Like, I just didn't feel her anymore, you know. I just kind of banned her from my circuit. <laughs> but yeah, my thoughts about it right now are that um, it's very sad to think that Asian people and Chinese people are so different from us because in fact, they just aren't. They are not that different from us. I was raised... Um, I was... I personally... I was raised in a black household and I moved a lot. I moved from city to city and then to another country. So yeah, I got this international part of education too, but the most part of my education was the traditional black education. And if I mean traditional black education, I don't mean I don't only mean this, okay? I don't only mean this. I mean that once you came back with an A minus. Yes. Yes. It needed to be an A plus. It needed to be an A plus, okay? <laughs> And yeah, you don't allow to date until you bring us some diplomas at home. And the one, the one you're going to bring at home, the one man you're going to bring at home is your fiancé, is your husband, not your boyfriend. Black parents don't want to know something about boyfriend. They want to know that you guys are ready to get married, you know, or somehow like, you guys like each other so much that you already decided you want to get married one day. So, yeah. <laughs> if I talk about things like this to my um, Asian friends, to my Chinese friends, they can relate. They can relate because they have been raised the same. They have been raised the same way. Their parents are super strict too. They know about strict parents, you know. If I tell them about my parents, <laughs> there's nothing that will just shock them. There's nothing that will shock them. And thinking that Asian people and Chinese people are so different from us is sad, you know. That just means that you, you didn't give them a chance, you know, to, to, um, to get to know. And yeah. That's it. That's it. The second situation that I told you. I noticed that a lot of people, a lot of black people are afraid of Chinese people. They just think Chinese people will not like them or just don't like them at all. And um, especially here in Europe, it's very uncommon to see Chinese people being friends with black people. Black people, I think, um, we get very close to Vietnamese people, to Filipinos. We get very close to each other. But when it comes to Chinese people, it really seems like Chinese people have their community, black people have their community, and both communities just don't mix up here in Europe. I think in China, it's, it's not like this. In China, it's, to me... It seemed normal to see black people hanging out with Chinese people, you know. Um, and Chinese people are very, they are very, very open, you know. But here in Europe, it's all about community. It's all about community. Chinese people have their community and, you know, black people have their communities too. 
when it comes to um, Chinese people, a lot of them own stores here in Europe. And um, I've heard about black people not feeling comfortable entering these stores of Chinese people. They would even prefer ordering something online instead of buying, you know, it in a Chinese people store at this, you know, just close to them. The reason for it is because they feel uncomfortable thinking that, oh, if I enter this, this store, Chinese people are going to think that I will just rob them. They're going to think that I will steal something. So they will not treat me nice. You know, this is the fear of a black person. And the reason why they don't like entering the stores of Chinese people here in Europe. <sighs> so yeah, is there anything else left that I could say from, you know, my experience? Hmm. Maybe you can add something in the comment section down below if you have made some experience. If, you know, you have something to say to this topic, add it in the comment section down below. And um, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to drop some more awesome topics. And yeah, like I told you in the beginning, there are going to be more videos. So thank you very much. I love you guys.